What's up guys, uh, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create lighting circuits without wire. So this exercise is similar to the previous exercise in where we create the circuits except without wire. Okay, so we will be doing that again on our level 2 lighting plan. And we will be concentrating on my computer lab 222. And I want you to take note on the system browser here. So notice that on my lighting panel 2B, I only have here one circuit. So if I click this one, it will just highlight the circuit that we have created last time. So what I want to do, I want the circuit that I will be creating for my computer lab 222 space. I want that also to be connected to my lighting panel 2B. Okay, so at the moment, I only have one uh, circuit here. So I want that to make two. Okay, so let's start this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of the lighting fixtures. So I'm going to select that one. And then from the create systems, I'm going to select power to create a power circuit. So I click that one. And then if I move the slider down, as you can see here, I already have the circuit for that okay so if ever you encounter that it's not assigned to your LP2-B panel so what you can do is you can select select panel and then after that you just need to select that one okay but as you can see I cannot select it anymore because it's already part of the uh, circuit right so I'm just going to press escape once so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to select again the lighting fixture that I have uh, used to create a circuit. And then I go to the electrical circuits. And you can also select here the panel that you want to assign that particular lighting fixtures, which is uh, LP2B or let's say uh, your electrical power for a or any other panel that is available here. But for now, I want uh, LP2B for that particular lighting fixtures. Now, I want to select here the edit circuit because I want to add to circuit this sensor here. So I'm going to select that one and it will be added to the circuit. Okay. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, finish editing circuit. And let me now check again my system browser here so there's the circuit that i have created if i expand that one so i can see here the lighting fixture that is part of that circuit and then the wall occupancy sensor that is part of that circuit on that particular uh, panel right so as you can see there's the panel and then if i'm going to move the system browser here so you'll be able to see also the space name where is that elements are located space number and then you can also see here the load and then the voltage here okay now um, what I'm gonna do is I want to add more lighting fixtures to my uh, system so to do that let me just go back again to my 222 space so let's say I want this junction here so I will select this one and from the properties, I want to change the voltage of this. So instead of 120, I'm going to make that 277, enter. And then while this one is still selected, I'm going to right click and then I will select add to circuit. Okay, and then I'm going to select one of the element that is already part of the circuit number two, which is this uh, lighting fixture so I'm going to select that one and then once you select it, that junction will now be part of that uh, system or circuit so if I go to the project browser I mean on the system browser so you will now see here that the junction box now is added to that particular uh, circuit okay now to finalize this exercise I'm going to select one of the just select modify first i'm going to select one of the lighting fixture that is part of my circuit number two and then i go to the electrical circuits i go to edit circuit and then i will now uh, add the circuit 
all the elements that I would like to that particular circuit, which is this lighting fixture. I want this other uh, sensor as well. And then I want these uh, four lighting fixtures. All right. And then I'll just select here, finish. And that's it. So if I'm going to hover my pointer, let's say uh, to, to one of the sensor, I'm going to press tab and then click. So it will now highlight this is circuit number two. If I check the project browser, or oh, I mean the properties, it now tells me that that is the circuit number two. The connection type is this, the load name is this, and then these are the properties that we can use on our design. So you can see the length here of the wire, and then you can see here as well the wire type that actually you can change if you want and then you can also see here the wire size okay so that's it for this simple exercise we didn't generate the wire but we created the circuit okay and the proof is here on our system browser that circuit number two and then these are the elements on that particular circuit on my lp2-b panel okay so hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. If you have any questions, suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.